Hey guys, it's Star, and I want to talk today about verbal abuse and verbal harassment. Basically, this happened to me last night and over the course of this many days. It started initially on Wednesday night, and I'm sitting there showing a present for a friend. For actually for my boyfriend and mother. So, anyway, uh, I'm sitting there doing my own business. This girl who I used to be friends with for six years. Their names, the three people who were involved in this, her last name told me, remain anonymous. But I'm just going to say their first names. So basically, Jory and I were friends for six years. And she was texting me saying, well, you did everything to me. You were a little mean to me. It's like, okay, well, I accept that. I just think it's going to be a regular fight. And a regular fight is like, two days we ignore each other. I left this girl alone for a month. Me and mine, I left her alone for a month. And basically, she was bugging me a lot. And I was like, okay, leave me alone. And then next day, she texted me again. I told her, okay, let's make up. Let's try to be friends. My mom said, okay, make up with her. It's like, no, I don't want to make up with her. I don't want to be friends. I decided, we ended up getting into a fight, that's just what my mom and I do, she has to go cool off right now, but basically, later on that day, I'm sitting, she's texting me throughout lunch and until I go back to work. And basically, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, okay, why do you want to talk to me? I thought you hated me. And... Out of nowhere, the blue, this contact that I don't know says, Hi, Chelsea. My real name, sorry. But out of nowhere, this person says, How are you? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, I'm good. And I don't know this person. I'm kind of getting a little weirded out. So this person says to me, up to my face, I'm your worst nightmare. Like, okay, what are you gonna do? You don't even know where I live. Later on that day, I'm sitting here talking in front of the camera on Uzu to my boyfriend and my best friend now. Hi, Katie! Hi, Manisa! They know who they are. They're really good friends. Sweet, perfect. And so is Patrick. You are a great friend, too. My boyfriend, he stood up for me and tried to calm me down at this time. But basically, what had happened. She was texting me, and so was this person. I didn't know who it was then, but he says, dot, 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 I know all your secrets. I know where you live. I know who your boyfriend is. That freaked me out. It's like, okay, God, what if it's some psycho? And he put JJ. It's like, JJ? It sounded familiar to me at the time. I didn't know what it was. But, um, I was friends with, I'm still friends. I don't even want to be friends with this, her ex-boyfriend anymore because he was in on this and everything. And it happened. I was talking. He called and I was thinking, okay, it's probably his birthday and everything. Basically, he called to yell at me and told me, leave Joy alone. I'm not talking to her. I'm not even speaking to her. She's bugging me. I didn't even start. She initiated and engaged me into fighting with her. And then she said, I know all your secrets. It's like, okay, what do you mean about that? I don't care. You know all my secrets. You've known me for six years. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is stupid. I'm going to hang up. He hands the phone to her boyfriend. The boyfriend was the one calling me and threatening me over the phone. He threatened me through text messages by saying, Oh yeah, guess what? I'm going to take all your secrets and information and all your family secrets and post them on the internet. He was going to exploit me. You know what? Jory, Daniel, and Joey, I know your name. And I know the last name, and I know where you live. All three of you, I know where you live. And I hope you're happy now. Because guess what? 
I have all the information you sent me on my phone. It is saved on this phone. Oh, sorry. It doesn't work here. Hold on one second. Basically, I'm sitting there bawling my eyes out and freaking out because I don't know what's going on. And I think about it. Wait a minute. They're verbally abusing me over the phone and everything. Who are you talking to? I'm doing a YouTube video. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I call you back? Okay, I need to cut that out.